You want to watch the character guide? Eduardo. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Eduardo I'm Bison. <laughs> I'm curious to know what's going on with him. Did you see the uh, the full theme song? No, I didn't go listen to it isolated. No. There's the full theme song, and like the lyric translation is pretty sick. Like, I like the bars; they're good. They're very, uh, you know, obviously they're they're very character oriented, but uh, they hit, they hit pretty good. They're 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 not uh, not That's too good to hear, not too cheesy, not, not too cheesy. Too... And it, and again, you're looking at a translation from German to English, right? So, you know, some of that is filtered as well for sure. Punch button. Performs easy to use close range attacks. Kick button performs flicker punches that can hit the opponent from a distance. Okay. Kick for the zoning. Light flick, medium flick, heavy flick, I guess. Is that kick, is that light uh, actually the low? Or no, he has to crouch to do it. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. A variety of target combos are available from Ed's Flicker Punches, giving you an easy option to pile up the damage even from a distance. Oh. Even if an opponent stays out of your regular Flicker attack range, you can use the Psycho Flicker, a special move that covers even more ground to control yeah. the ground game. You can also use the Psycho Knuckle to close the gap in a hurry. Charge Heavy Punch. So the Psycho Flicker is, yeah, those are the quarter circle forward plus kick buttons. Is the low angle flicker actually hitting low so i think that's last medium heavy right yeah but you don't know if it's a low that's that that looks like a low though right yeah she's like definitely Ugh. yeah definitely psycho spark Close range punch that generates a ball of psycho power to for close range combos or to cancel out an opponent's incoming projectile. Yeah. This here is a wicked downward punch cloaked in psycho power. Even if it's blocked, they'll have a hard time landing a hard counter attack. So when you're throwing out your normal attacks that leave you wide open, cancel them with this. Yeah, okay, so he can't keep up with the fireball war as aggressively as he could have just because of that motion versus before where it was like it was forward Forwards, medium forward, punch medium, forward, medium and punch. then you tap I get no you don't have to do I think you double tap okay yeah it was forward medium to, to do the first one and then you just tap again to shoot it out oh okay so it's like real quick pop up pop up pop up no motion but you could delay it before you could delay it yeah you could do like huh, huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, which is Kate Ash uh, iron trigger yeah just without the fireball follow up I hope that it's it's like nice pressuring tool mm. I see on the kick is that Psycho Spark can cancel out any projectiles an opponent sends your way, letting you retaliate, uh, letting you bust out a Psycho Shoot to retaliate. There's different speeds to it too. Both for drive version, both a Psycho Spark and Shoot become yes, two hits slower. And, That's uh, kind of slow. It's it, no, so the OD version is slow. Yeah. There's a super fast uh, non-OD version, um, and the. In the video, in the first trailer, you see him use the first one to beat out, I think, Ken's EX Fireball. And then the second one, like, it stops something else that Ken does. Okay. You know? So, it like, it like each, on the OD, the first and second part each get two hits. Mm -hmm. So, it's like extra, it's extra, it's almost like, you know, it, you could challenge um, DJ or Giles, you know, uh, um... Right, extra extra uh, OD fireballs and shit like Exotic that. Crosses, and so, stuff. exactly, exactly. Uh, I think so. The purpose with the slow fireball and, of course, the uh, level two. You're on borrowed time. You can, if you can get in the charge rush punch, you you could get some coverage on that. You know, mm. psycho upper. Unleash a powerful uppercut cloaked in psycho power. Useful for countering an opponent's jumping attacks. As a to do there you go. Light version, mean uppercut in place, medium and heavy, move forward. Yeah, so the light version is the left and then right, and then right with a big step. Unleash the nasty. Oh, uh, combo enders. Okay. Attacks invincible against mid-air attacks, so you use it as a welcome present when someone gets too jumpy with you. Just remember that some versions move you forward, so adjust accordingly. Yeah. Okay. From further distance. Dang. There you go. 
And that the trend, yeah, trade off, of course, is this plus up flicker in exchange for no more uh, psycho kick and mm -hmm. then dive. Hit him when they're high enough, and you'll get a chance to land another attack before they kiss the dirt. Yes, sir. Not even counter hit, eh? It's not even doing the, the counter hit j launch uh, shake. Because usually you get a big boof, right? There's a screen shake when you land the. Yeah, that. They were just like, hey, if it's high enough, you so can it's follow a up. Yeah, so it's a generous struggle state on that overdrive version. Ah, uh huh? This attack takes some time to come out, so I wouldn't try to snipe an opponent with quick attacks with it. But if you screw up and are wide open after your attack, hit him hard with this. The super are you slow trying uppers. to say that there's no. It's not a reversal? Yeah, it like uh, Street Fighter V's. Uh, EX uppercut was really slow, right? It was like... So you can use it as a reversal, but if they're doing something quick, it ain't gonna they work. They might block, yeah. Yeah, like a, if they do like a meaty jab. Yeah. Combinations, a combination of punches, yeah. and psycho power. Useful when cancelling from normal attacks or as a way to close out combos. The OD version is such good combo filler here. This is a classic triple flurry. The medium and heavy version knocked down, giving you a chance to fold them like a bad poker hand. This is best used to end combo, so make sure it connects. When this attack is blocked, it leaves you open, which is something all good boxers want to avoid. As it should. Overdrive version, pepper them with a series of body blows before sending them into the air with an uppercut. Oh, the let's go, you see. Sorry. The opponent can't freely counter attack even if they block, so it's hella good. See that footwork right there? That footwork mm -hmm. with where you hitting the like hitting the speed bag? Yes, sir. Oh, and there we go. It's safe. Yeah, when you get those uh, what we call shoe shine uppercuts going, uh -huh. you get in close, and it's almost like you're doing a shoe shine, which with, with the, like left and right, okay. you're just like, and you're working the feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot the best part. We're gonna be doing some saucy damage if this hits. So if you see an opening, go all in. Let's go, baby. Uh, all, you see that? You see that low? Crouching jab. Mm. Oh yeah, very low. Right? Yeah. Jabs never do that. Yeah, they're usually not lows. No. Which also means there's no way that's a four frame. Right. They no, you're like they're not gonna do that. Why not? You, you could you could go frame by frame and count it yourself actually, but they're yeah. probably gonna give him a four frame standing jab and then like make that a five. Psycho flicker, a quick flicker jab cloaking psycho power. Hold down the button to boost its attack properties. Yes. Because uh, after for this attack determines the attack trajectory. Light straight, so that that confirms the direction of the button of the. The, the directions here will, I'm sure, correspond with their, like, um, light flick, uh, mm. quick flicker, you know? So light light straight, straight, medium mm. low, heavy eye, heavy up. And only hits airborne opponents. Uh, if you hold down the button long enough, you can also boost the properties of the attack. So, I, no, but I'm just like, the high version, it's like, it'll just go right through Zangief's head. I would assume so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just a property thing. Hits airborne opponents only. Get over here. Snatched. Right? Into OD uh, uh, 123. Boosted version of this attack will pull opponents to you, giving you a chance to smash their face in. If they block it, you get to move first, so you got the chance to go on the offensive. While you're charging up, you can also opt for a kill rush instead. Keep oh. mixing it up to really get in their head. That's oh. the yeah. That's the back step we saw. Okay, you can turn it into a kill rush. Overdrive shoots out straight like the light version, but features longer range. This version will pull opponents immediately, and yep, hit him with it, and you can follow up with another attack on block. And your plus on Yanks block. Yanks on block. Did the did the non OD versions? We didn't see what they look like blocked though, eh? Non OD was safe. Okay, but we didn't see we didn't see if it if it yanks you in though. But at least OD does. 
can't go into the charge stance or faint for this version. Okay. Kill rush, there it is. Technique that allows you to quickly move forward. Two different types of attacks are possible during the technique. Perform a bob and weave while taking a step back. Useful to create this use. Kill rush forward is effective when you need to close the gap. And the backward version is good for creating space, all the while not leaving you open to attack. Baked shimmies, baby. During kill rush forward, you got two attack options, both the same input but different timings. Get the input in during the first half of the kill rush for kill switch break. There it is. Or do it in the latter half for kill switch chaser. Okay, kill rush is the move, and then the follow up is kill switch. Uppercut. And then the big one. Yeah. Either attack and leave your you open to a counter, so keep this in the pocket until you can use it at the end of a combo. Okay, there you go. So, light left, hit him with the right. Mm -hmm. Level one. I speed with her jab. Great reach, nice combo ability, and on top of that, invincible to everything except projectiles. Don't be shy about being a jerk with it. Keep your finger on the trigger. Be sure that when you go for it, you know it's going to hit. Miss with this and you're going to regret it. I see he's coming back in. Wow. Yo, the line system? What is this real bout? <laughs> you're using... It's, it's a, like in real bout Fatal Fury, you can like switch lines and fight on a background layer or the foreground. It's goofy. Psycho Cannon. Generate the ball of psycho yeah. power. And it's you know the deal. With a push. Bang! Just by hitting attack, it could be useful in combo. Yes, Uppercut him out of it, and then he lands back on it because they travel the same distance as the speed of the ball. This cannon's got some juice, and it goes on for a while. If it connects, you got yourself an open invitation to combo to your liking. Even if the opponent blocks it, you're still at an advantage. Please, I know it's goofy, but show me the corpse carry. Right? Hard knockdown, activate. Push, 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 push. Forward dash, forward dash, yeah. and push them to the corner, and the ball comes later. Once more, the speed of the projectile changes depending on the button press. From far, using the light version to unleash a slow-moving projectile, and following it in is a, is a game plan that I like to lean on. Yeah. Walk it slow, or grapple in, or charge rush punch. Oh boy, the level three. Psycho chamber. Press together the feet and hands of an opponent before delivering a series of powerful shots all over their body. A versatile move that can counter projectiles, be used in combos, and can turn the table How right under pressure. How far does it go? I need to see the range. Uh, 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 uh. Probably lunges like at least like outside of medium to brain. One would hope, but oh CA! Oh shit! I wasn't. The... Hold on, that's the CA version outside medium kick range. Yeah, but I'm like, is it gonna be a goddess of the hunt? You know, are we moving? How far are we going with this mm. on punishes? <laughs> Get down. Nuke. Sick. Dude, that's a kit. That's a kit, dude. Like, what are you going to fucking say? You know? He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, baby. He's got it. Um, He doesn't have the, the, the big lunging heavy forward kick anymore, but instead he's got that, like, Superman oh, punch yeah. to replace it. Um, let's just see what those buttons are like, you know? The standing medium looks fucking great. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's plus. I'm you sure it's see plus, it? Yeah. You see it? 
blow up his standing medium punch I believe it's like a straight just like it looks it almost looks like oh, Balrog's heavy okay and you see it blow up Ken's crouching medium kick from stand like from standing you know like it's just the whole yeah area in front of him is active I like the feeling of that um Balrog's son is doing well he's he's growing healthy he's a good boy they didn't show any drive rushing which let's be real EOD fireball traveling that slow right any of those things where like you activate a drive rush right behind that yeah is super doable you know oh yeah i expect some crazy stuff yeah like od fireball drive rush crushing fears juggle into snatch dang uppercut yeah it's gonna be crazy um they even there's a moment in the trailer uh where you see him do i think it was like a yeah it was a drive rush combo but like he did a, a follow-up that didn't end in um he, it was it was a, a follow-up that i went for into the stance into the uppercut it was kind of like doing what it's almost like serenity stream where you do drive rush into serenity stream and then you don't get the extended uh, uh momentum momentum on it you know so okay. so like yeah going into the so that that kind of shows it's like okay you have to activate while you're mid um travel but that also means in theory you could do drive rush and then kill rush cancel backwards and bait something out yeah have a bit of that sway <laughs> yeah so you can just you know you can do like instead of having to do kill uh, a drive rush crouching light to stop or drive rush empty throw you can possibly even get a nice little like whoop mm -hmm. and avoid something some big call out yeah so that could be pretty sick i hope akuma has this much sauce i guarantee you he will akuma is the fucking season pass seller it's the thing that gets people who have not been paying attention to the game to come back and look at it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, and then to be fair, like all the characters that were DLC have been hits. They've been hit so far. They're doing their homework. They know what they're doing. There's no way Akuma is not going to be like incredible, but Akuma will get his day. And then some when that, when that time comes, Ed has got the moment now, <laughs> you know, and I get a feeling that very soon after this, uh, he will no longer have a moment. So, while he's here and while it's fucking piping hot. He's a boxer, baby. Yeah. Put Cross some hands. respect on his name. Well, I want to hear all the, the little little taunts and wind quotes and things like that. But I like I like uh you know, some of the some of the shit he used to say. The, the again, the rudeness and the high def picture of strength, borrow yeah. time, all that shit. Eh. Maybe even a taunt that's like, oh, just wait till I like, call Falk in here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Baba Mwalimu's going to rip you apart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, 